waterways has been a lifeline for transportation of goods and passengers since ancient times. Till early 19th century, before the extensive rail and road network crisscrossed the length and breadth of the country, which made India a powerful global economic force. The Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi realized the urgent need for development of waterways in India and announced developing 111 waterways across the country. Inland Waterways Authority of India, under the Ministry of Port, Shipping and Waterways Government of India, was entrusted to implement this gigantic task. Development of National Waterway 1 on the River Ganga connecting Holy City Varanasi with Kolkata and Haldia ports and link it further with the northeastern states via Indo-Bangladesh Protocol route and waterways 2 and 16 on rivers Brahmaputra and Barak were prioritized. These waterways were developed for transshipment of bulk industrial and agricultural cargo. Cargo movement through waterways witnessed remarkable growth in recent years. That is, 18.8 million metric tons in 2013 to 108.76 million metric tons in 2021-22. PM Gati Shakti Yojana, aimed at addressing issues pertaining to infrastructure building, was launched by the Honorable Prime Minister in 2021. Inland waterways transport plays a vital role in facilitating reduction of logistics cost and making Indian goods competitive. The existing navigational lock at Faraka has limited capacity, old technology, which takes time for movement of vessels. Jalmarg Vikas project is setting up a new navigational lock with enhanced capacity equipped with state-of-the-art technology, which will ensure hassle-free movement of vessels. This project would be ready by 2023. Jalmarg Vikas project caters to bulk and heavy industrial cargo. IWAI has launched Jalmarg Vikas Project 2 that was named as Arth Ganga, aiming at benefiting small traders, local businesses and local community. Inland Waterways Authority of India is constructing more than 60 community jetties on NW1, which will benefit more than 7.5 crore people living on the banks of River Ganga, 891 km long National Waterways 2 from Sadia in Arunachal Pradesh to Dhubri in Assam on River Brahmaputra was made navigable. Similarly, National Waterways 16 on Barak River has also been developed to facilitate trade with Bangladesh through Indo-Bangladesh Protocol route. National Waterway 2 has four differential global positioning system stations for safe navigation. Dhubri, Jogi Ghopa, Bishwanath Ghat and Dibrugad and 12 floating terminals Hatsingimari, Dhubri, Jogi Ghopa, Tezpur, Silghat, Bishwanath Ghat, Niamati, Sengjen, Bogipil, Saikhova, Dibrugad, Oakland, Oriam Ghat and Sadia for movement of specialized cargo, cement, timber, tea, coffee, oil, coal, rubber, pineapple etc. A permanent Roro terminal at Dhubri has been constructed by investing Rs 46.69 crore. A temporary Roro service between Dhubri and Hatsingimari has been started. Roro terminals are also proposed at Hatsingimari, Niamati Kamalbari, Maijan to Singajan. MV Sachin Dev Barman and MV Rani Guide in Liu. Roro vessels have changed the lives of 1,50,000 people from 144 villages of Majuli. Developing waterways in northeast will connect the entire region with the major ports, Kolkata, Haldia, creating an economic platform for the entire BBIN region, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India and Nepal. The 205 km long National Waterway 3 is mainly based on West Coast Canal and running from Kollam to Kottapuram. In addition to the main stretch, Champakara and Udyog Mandal canals are also navigable and connect the industrial corridor of Kochi to Kochi port. Roro vessels MV Adi Shankara and MV CV Raman were deployed between Wellington Island and Bolgati Roro jetties to reduce the burden on the roads of Kochi. 
Goa has well developed ferry boats to transport people from one bank to another across the rivers. These ferry boats laid the foundation of inland waterways in Goa, which still continues. Goa has many rivers and all of those flow out of the Western Ghat and flow into the Arabian Sea. The Kaladan project in Myanmar includes the construction of a deep water port at the mouth of the Kaladan River in Sitwe. Dredging of the river to enable cargo vessels to navigate the river from Sitwe to Palatwa in Myanmar. Construction of a river port at Palatwa in Myanmar's Chin state and construction of highways from Palatwa to Meikwa on the Indo-Myanmar border. The inland water transit and trade protocol between India and Bangladesh allows inland vessels of one country to transit through the specified routes of the other country. These protocol routes are Kolkata to Silkhat and vice versa, 1,720 kilometers. Kolkata to Karim Ganj, Badarpur and vice versa, 1,339 kilometers. Dhulia to Aricha and vice versa, 270 kilometers. Silkhat to Karim Ganj, Badarpur and vice versa, 1,437 kilometers. And Sonamura to Daud Kandi and vice versa 93 kilometers. Advent of waterways have rekindled the scope of cruise tourism on national waterways 1, 2 and 3 especially. These cruise ships have connected tourism hotspots, wildlife sanctuaries, adventure locations, ecotourism, hill stations, lakes, historic monuments and glorious ghats of Varanasi. Developing waterways not only connects remote parts of the hinterland, but also creates a safe, cost-effective and environment-friendly mode of transportation of cargo and passengers, which jumpstarts wave of economic activities around generating huge scope of employment. Inland Waterways Authority of India is working towards a clean and green mode of transportation, utilizing abundance of river water opening up to a new horizon.